What's up guys, Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. First of all, thank you for being here and choosing to click on a video. If you could of course leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. Also, um, as you'll see by the title of the video, I finally got some gameplay out from Foot Champs for you guys. You keep asking and I finally got down to doing it. I did do some last week, but I only played like three games on the Friday or something and the servers were horrendous. You'll see that I'm currently 7th in squad battles as well. This is midway through the um, through the Saturday. You'll see I am 5-0 and in Foot Champs. I've only got 5 um, games for you for gameplay wise. But that still came up to like 9 minutes. So yeah, like nobody will sit there and watch that much of gameplay usually anyway. So I thought 5 games is the right amount. I know it's only the first 5 games. But yeah, um, that's all I played. Uh, this is the team that I use. This is live, by the way, to show you the team, and then I'll go post com and talk over their gameplay for you. So, in game, I'll switch to 4 1 2 1 2 narrow if I can find it. There it is. You'll see that I made a few changes to my squad. I brought um, Aguero in, who goes left striker. Neymar will go right striker, if it lets me. Right striker over there. Fabinho CDM. Pogba, a new sign in right centre mid. Firmino left centre mid, who's so good, and then Hazard at Cam. Neymar on the right, obviously, because he's got the five-star weak foot, so he can cut in on his left-hand side and do the left-footed finesses. Aguero on the left for the same for his right foot, and Hazard and Cam's a beast. He's now played 270 games for me, and what a return he's got. That is, of course, squad battles as well, but yeah, phenomenal card. Van Dijk as well, still the best centre-back that I've used, was better than Ramos and Varane for me, nearly 400 games. Alisson, 270, but I put um, one of his other cards into an SBC that had like 100 plus games on. So yeah, that's the team I'm using. I didn't mean to click out there. I'll show you my custom tactics and player instructions as well quickly. If the game actually decides to speed up with a service. So custom tactics, you'll see 41212. I play balance, start with 6th uh, width, 4 from the top, 4 depth and... Fast build-up play, I'm not sure how many people use fast build-up play, but I prefer it. Um, four width, four players in the box. Again, I'd rather players on the edge of the box for the finesses anyway. Width is just, like, doesn't really matter. If you put your players on stay wide or something, that means a lot more. Corners, you don't need players in the box. And free kicks, again, is just pretty irrelevant. And player instructions are getting behind and stay forward. That's not how the team lines up, but I've shown you how the team lines up goes like that and then that way just so people can get a better understanding on the instruction so again behind and stay forward on the two strikers stay forward on the cam stay back while attacking on the cdm and then stay back while attacking on the left and right back um if you've got any more questions be sure to ask in the comments below and i'll answer it in the next video but um yeah that's the team that i use let's go into the gameplay footage so as we get into the first game, you'll see that he's not got a great team. He's got players like Cruz and Casemiro, PK, who at this level aren't really up to standard, I'd say, in the weekend league. Not got enough pace. I know pace doesn't mean as much this year, but yeah, pace is still relevant, especially in weekend league and div rivals and stuff like that. But as I said in the um, team intro, it is only the first five games, but it still comes up to like nine minutes worth of footage or something. And I only played five games. You'll actually notice in four of the first five games that I played, I actually scored a kickoff goal within the first like four minutes in all um, in four out of the five games that I played, which is ridiculous. That that kickoff is still in the game like this is unbelievable. But um, yeah, I'll just try and show the highlights. Some of the goals that were scored were ridiculous. You'll see a goal in the second game that I play. I was I'm two um, nil up. And I pass it back to my keeper and I end up just passing it straight into my own net. Which just shows like the button delay and the lag on the servers and everything. And the gameplay is so slow. Like the last two weeks or so, the gameplay personally for me has been the worst it's ever been. Which is something special considering how bad it usually is. But yeah, you'll see the delay in like the second game that I play that's coming up soon. But I'm pretty sure we get like 4 out of 5 rage quits as well, which I would expect in the first, uh, first 5 games to be honest. I don't really play people on my level, which isn't fair, but that's the way matchmaking is at the minute. But um, this guy's got some mad luck here. He's not got a great team, but he's got a few dodgy players in there as well. Um, Goulam, Hamsick at left mid, but he's managed to pull an 88 
Red Mertens and a 92 Red Suarez, which just sums up this game. Um, but a few tips in my game, I just attack a lot. Like, I play literally no possession plays football. It's just as soon as I get the ball, I run forward and I attack. When I go 1-0 up, if it's people that I know aren't great, I usually tend to mess around a bit. Like, most of the goals that you'll see after I go 1-0 up is probably me just doing, like, a skill in the box or something. Maybe Quite a few of the goals that I scored in these clips were quite lucky, just a few lucky rebounds and that. But, yeah, if I go 1-0 up, I'd start doing skills and stuff and just trying to score some decent goals. But, um, defending-wise... Just pretty much say I defend. In games like this, when I know I'm better than the opponent, I will switch to the defenders and I'll run them out. Just because if you run a defender out against people that aren't that good, usually they're not going to capitalise on it and you can just get back into play. But if you're playing somebody of a steady standard, then just control the CDM. Unfortunately, that's the best way to defend on this game. Like, just don't even control defenders, which is sad, but... Unfortunately, that's the way forward. I'm sure we've all played against it. People go like 4-2-3-1, park the bus, sit the team on the edge of the box and just control their cam and run back with them. That's not the way the game should be, but unfortunately it is. There again, I scored an um, edge of the box finesse shot, near post as well. Them goals just go in so often. That's the goal I was talking about. Passed it back to my keeper and he just passed it into his own net just because of the delay on like the passing and everything. What a fabulous goal to concede for the first goal of the weekend that I did concede. But um, yeah, defending, unfortunately, is just so screwed up on this game. The shooting, pretty much all I do is just the finesse shots. Like, get them towards the end of the box, cutting onto your strong foot. And then near post finesses work better than actually across the keeper on this game as well. Which, again, is another dodgy choice on the game. But that's what we've got to deal with. That was a nice ball there. And as you'll see there, near post finesse. Just go in 99% of the time. Um, moving the keeper on this game makes a big difference as well. I've been practising it a little bit lately. And against people that aren't of a high level, it makes such a difference. Like, I've had people have like 15 shots against me before and not score. Just because they're easy to read. like They just go for the finesse shot every single time. You can just move your keeper across a little bit. And you can just stand there and save it in the end. But um, yeah, moving the keeper. If you can learn to do it, will make a huge difference to your game. Um, I don't think there's anything else to talk about the gameplay. I'm going to get a few comments up from my YouTube channel. And answer a few questions. Um, first of all, I'd also just like to thank everybody for the support on the channel. We're up to like 5.8k subs now, which is unbelievable. And I appreciate everybody that clicks on the video, and even the and even more the people that comment every video. Like the um, love your videos, awesome vid again, mate. So underrated. Deserve more subs. Like I can't thank everybody enough for them sort of comments. But um, if I find a comment. I've opened so many packs from the league SBCs and got zero UCL cards. They're so bad at the minute. I've opened like 22 player packs and got two boards in 20. Not not UCL players, literally just 83 rated board cards. I've opened many packs from the SBCs, the um, Serie A packs like the Napoli, the Juve, the Milan, Lazio, teams like that. Haven't packed anything. Um, the SBCs that come out for promos and stuff. Packs this year are just horrendous in my eyes. Like, I get top 100 squad battles most weeks, like top 20. I get elite foot champs every week. I then get division 2 um, rewards every week. And I still have a poor team considering the finishes that I have. Like, the packs this year are just a joke. I see most people complaining about pack weight as well. And it's just unbelievable how bad it is in literally everything. Like, it's not just me. It's pretty much everybody that I see having bad packs. But yeah, them two player packs are horrific. Um, also, he says, do you think Chemstar's actually working game? Sometimes, I swear to God, I feel no difference between a player with or without a Hunter Chemstar. Absolutely not. There is no way in a million years that Chemstar's work the way they should have. You're telling me that if you've got a Harry Kane who's got, say, 75 pace, I'm not sure what he has... But if he's got 75 pace and you chuck a hunter on him, he's going to go to like 90 something. Absolutely no chance. Not a way in hell. Maybe they give a little bit to a, of a boost, but absolutely nowhere near what they say they do. Like shooting as well. If you've got somebody with 75 shooting and give him a hunter and he supposedly go up to like 90 or something, 
he's still going to have pretty much 75 shooting. Like, his shooting will not change. In, in, in my opinion, just no. That's just not how it works, unfortunately. People will argue it all day. It's like, REA have come out and said it is. They have to. But I'm sure most people will say that they feel hardly any difference. What makes it even worse is that when you add an attribute card as well, on the card, um, if you press press the right stick in an Xbox on the card in get um, on the team selection when you add a chem st um, attribute card you can see the stats get boosted with a chem style you don't I've heard they change in game but I don't want to see it in game I want to see it on the actual attribute details on the card that you can click on the team screen if I click that with an attribute card so that's showing me the boost they get click it with a chem style it doesn't if that doesn't say something straight away then I don't know what does but yeah, it's just a placebo effect. Obviously, people, some people do it, like myself. Like I have two players now, I think, that don't have a chem style on because like I just can't be bothered and don't think it's necessary. But I'll put hunters and stuff on cards just in case it does work. But yeah, because there's no reason not to. If you've got them in the club, why not put them on? But I personally don't think they work. Um, if I go and look for another one. Start stream, everyone has been there thinking no one will watch. Just do it. Um, I have started streaming on Twitch. Well, I say started, I've done like one, but it's just it's so hard to get into streaming. When I finish work, like I don't really have the effort, but I will leave my Twitch link in the um, comments below. If you could drop that a follow, it would be much appreciated. I play games on there, squad battles, foot champs, etc. But um, yeah, that is only on Twitch because don't really want to start streaming on YouTube and affect the actual videos on it as well. Um, how do you play so well with an attacking team? Um, I just love to attack, simple as that. But um, yeah, the gameplay's coming to an end here. You'll see I get a penalty as they um, just done a little half drag back, I'm pretty sure, and then he took me out from behind. He was playing aggressive at that point. We get a rage quit in the last game as well. So I really appreciate you guys being here. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thanks for watching.